Okay, everybody. So I wanted to make a quick video showing how I could take some notes on a Kindle device, in this case my iPad running the Kindle app, how I could then go to my computer, grab the notes that I make, and uh, put them into a note-taking application. Now, there are a couple of caveats that I want to warn you about on this. It won't work for PDFs, so with a PDF I'm likely to, to read on my Kindle and either take uh, paper notes and transfer it to my note-taking app if I'm on the go, or I will um, go ahead and, and take notes as I'm reading the book next to my computer. It also doesn't apply to certain books, like ones that I might purchase from a third party, but it works with, or it has at this point worked with all the books I bought off Kindle. So let's say I take my digital photography book here, and you can see I've got a, a highlight here. Having photos that are sharp and in focus is so vitally important to pro photographers that they actually have coined a term for them, they call them tack sharp. Now let's say this is important to me, so I click on here and I take a note on here, and it's, you know, make sure photos are sharp. And then I go through and maybe there's a another, um, you know, thing here it's called, oh, TAC stands for Technically Accurate, uh, oh, I didn't know that. So if I go in here, this is the definition of what TAC stands for, and I can grab that. So I'll grab that here, and I'll make a note, and I'll call this the definition of, oh, so definition of tack, something I didn't know before. So I've got some notes in here and I've just chosen this book because I haven't done a ton of notes on here. So for the purposes of this, uh, it'll, it'll be beneficial. So I'm now going to go and I've got my, my book here. I'm going to go in, I'm going to close that book. So I can go ahead and close the book. I can go into my Kindle here and I just pull down. It synchronizes everything. Uh, you can also go in and if you want to, you can synchronize where you are in the book. But in my case, it's just as easy to tap on here and close the book. And so I can go to my library and, and you know, I can go to other books and such. Let's go to the computer. Okay, so my goal here is I want to get those Kindle notes that I just took here into this uh, vault, uh, a note on my vault in Obsidian for Kindle Notes. To do that, I have a little piece of housekeeping that I have to take care of. I'm going to go into my settings on my computer, and I'm going to add a special printer that's not there by default. And what this printer is, so I'm going to add a printer, and what I'm going to do is add a printer that's not, it's searching for printers, but it's not going to be on my list of printers. So it's going to time out in a little bit there, and I'm going to say that the printer isn't listed. And what I'm going to do is, it's not that it's older, what I'm going to do, it's a, it's a local printer and it's going to be an existing port, but this is the key. It's going to go to a file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to allow my system to print to a file. And I do this with all of my Windows computers for sure. I make a generic printer that's text only. And then what I do is there's a driver there because I did have this installed previously and I just wanted to demonstrate it. So I'll say next and I'm going to call this file output. And I always create a file output printer on my computer so that I can take any document and print it as plain text. Now some documents aren't great as plain text, but you're going to find that this Kindle note is perfect as plain text. So I'm, I'm not going to share the printer. And I'm not going to print a test page. I know it's going to work. So that's housekeeping. That only ever has to be done once. And I recommend doing that no matter what, because that's a super helpful feature if you're ever trying to get any output into a text-only mode. So now I've got that, and I'm going to go into my Kindle app. I'm going to go into read.amazon, in my case, amazon.ca slash notebook. And all of the Kindle books that I've purchased will be here. And all of the ones that have notes will have their notes there. So now what I can do is I've, I've chosen this one particular book and I've just put a couple of notes on here for the purpose of this demonstration. And what I can do is go to my ellipse up here and I'm going to print this. And when I go to print it, it's going to say, do you want to print it as a PDF? That's a great way to get the notes out if you want to keep them as a PDF, but I don't want to do that. What I actually want to do is I want to print them out and you'll notice here that my printer file output is one of my options. So now it's going to print this out as a text file, pure text. And when I go print, it's going to give me the option to save it. So I've actually created a little folder called Kindle Notes on my D drive here. And it wants to do it as a PRN file. I'm going to change that to all files. And I'm going to call this uh, digital 
photography, and uh, notes. Now, I'm just doing this for the purpose of a demonstration, so obviously I'd be a little bit more careful as to what I was calling things and such, but so digital photography notes, and I'm gonna save that. Now, if I go into that file, you'll see I have digital photography notes. I've just captured that file as pure plain text. And if I go in and copy that, what I can do is go into my Kindle notes and I just pop it right into Obsidian. And now what I'm going to be able to do is do all of my back markups and everything. So I can go in here, for example, if I want to go in here, I could go ahead and, and see uh, any other notes that I have for this book. I can go in and put any hypertext or markup language that I want on here. Uh, but I've got a lot of cool things in here. First of all, I've got the URL for where that is. So I can actually revisit my, my URL. I can go in and I can uh, see the notes that I've taken, uh, where they came from. So in this case here, location uh, 287 within the book, location 291. So Kindle has location markers in there. So I can easily locate it back in the source material. Um, I can go in here, my definition, I, you know, I have to maybe clean that up. I don't know if I spelt it wrong. Uh, so my definition of tact is in there. So that was the note uh, that I had in there. Um, and I could make that, you know, maybe for, you know, we can clean it up. So I'm not going to go and do an obsidian uh, demonstration here, but there's a lot of cool markup that I can do in here. So I can start getting all of my notes with a lot of information about those notes uh, that I took directly from my Kindle. So I hope that briefly shows you how I can go to my Kindle, make a note, go to my Amazon website, pull that note and print it to a plain text file, dump that plain text file into a note taking app like Obsidian or, or Notion, or, or if I'm on my Mac, I can use DevonThink, whatever I want to use. In my case, I'm starting to gravitate towards Obsidian a little bit here. Um, and just because it's, it seems to be a pretty good program. It's meeting a lot of my needs right now. So there you have it. If that was useful, let me know. I'm, I really enjoy moving data around and making sure that I have sort of a system of note captures and a system of knowledge. So if you guys are interested in any more videos or if you found this one useful, I'd appreciate if you hit like. And, um, and if you want, you can even subscribe. Most of my videos are around teaching and how to learn. So if you're interested in those subjects, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks again for watching.